When I've done my sessions, people go back to the source. They go back to where they began, and they said the love is beyond description. They don't want to leave once they are back there. It is so incredible. But all of us started with the source. Everything there is came from it, and it cannot exist without it. It is the glue that holds everything together. If it were to wink out for a fraction of a second, everything would disintegrate. It cannot exist without this power that holds everything together. It all started there. We were all a part of it in the very beginning. And in the very beginning, God, it's, it's been described as a huge bright light, a huge energy source that everything emanates out from. But what I found in my work is that in the beginning, God was just this huge energy source pulsing out there in space, if you want to limit him by saying space. But then he became curious. He wanted to know. He wanted to learn. He wanted to experience. He couldn't do it on his own. So he exploded out. And when he exploded out, you may call this the Big Bang Theory. But when he exploded out, all the particles flew out in all different directions. Those particles, little sparks, some of them became universes, some of them became galaxies, and some of them became the human souls. When you take us back to what we really are, we are just a tiny spark. We are a tiny spark that started with God. We were sent out and told, go out and experience and learn. Learn everything there is to learn and then bring it back. This is how God learns. He wants to learn. He wants all of us to experience. That's why there is no good, there is no bad. It's only experiences, it's only lessons. We bring them back to the source. And this is how everything was created when it all went out. And as that, if you picture that, when we're journeying out through all of our hundreds and hundreds and thousands of lifetimes, where we experience every type of life you can ever even imagine, we've all been flowers, we've been plants, we've been animals. In the theory of reincarnation, we have to be everything before we're done. We have to know what it's like to be everything on this earth, on other planets, where we are pure energy, it doesn't matter. It's all a form of expression of the source of God. We have to learn everything that's possible to learn. That's why there's no judgment. We have to bring it back to the source. In that way, you can picture us as cells in the body of God, constantly gathering information and taking it back to the beginning. And I asked one time, what does the source do with all of this information once we accumulate it and bring it back? He said it uses it to create more. It's constantly in a state of creation. And everything is created through love. Love is the force behind everything. And it uses all of our experiences, all of our knowledge, everything we have gained to create more, to create new universes, to put other forms of life on it. And it goes on and on and on. There is no end. And I said one time, what happens when we get all of the information we've accumulated from hundreds and hundreds of lifetimes back to the source? We can stay there for a while because they say, once you're there, you don't want to leave again. It is so beautiful. It is so wonderful to be all back together again. It's just a, uh, it's a love that you can't describe and you don't want to leave. And I said, what happens then? He said, then explodes out again. It all starts again. Another journey somewhere else. And somebody asked me one time, well, what happens when you have learned everything that's possible to learn in this universe? Don't you ever stop? Don't you ever just stay there? And he said, no, there's other universes. There's other galaxies. There's other ways of life that you can't even possibly imagine. And we're always adventurers going out and trying to explore and find what's out there. 
But in that way, we are all God. And that's not sacrilegious to say that. We are all God because we came from the source and we are a part of it and we will continue to be a part of it. It's a constant motion. It never stops. And when we think of it that way, our little petty problems are nothing compared to what we're really here for. To gain knowledge and information, to help each other, to help each other understand that love is at the basis of everything. Because I let the people heal themselves. But I've had tapes that I played for the class where it's gone step by step how they are cured in one session. And uh, some of them say it's a miracle, it can't happen like that. It can, once you realize the power of your mind. You have tremendous power in your mind. We just have normally don't uh, think about it anymore. That's why this is one of the abilities that have to be brought back to our time. We can have complete control of our bodies. We can heal our bodies. We can do anything once we understand the power we have. We've just let it lie dormant for too many yeah, thousands of years. It's time to reclaim it now. Well, I, I give my classes to teach people to do what I do. In the beginning, I started my classes in 2002. In the beginning, I thought the only people who could take the class and understand it would be hypnotists. That the only ones who would be able to understand what I was doing, even though I developed my own technique. Then I found out that they were having the most trouble with it because they had been taught one method they couldn't deviate from it, they had to stick with it, and they had trouble switching to something that was different. So then people started coming to me and saying, can I please take the class? I want to learn it. They're into healing, they're into different modalities, Reiki and energy work. And they said, can I please take this? So I'm having better results with them because they don't have to unlearn what they have already learned. They can start out fresh and do it the way I'm showing them. And when they do that, then they're able to do it also. Because I'm teaching it all over the world, and I've got emails from many of my students say the same miracles are happening with them working with their clients. It's just to let people know they have such power in their own mind. You make yourself sick, and people don't like to hear that. You do it to yourself. The ideal state of the body should be perfect health at all times. If there's anything wrong at all, any ache, pain, symptom of the body, it's trying to give you a message. It's trying to tell you something. So you do this to yourself. And if your mind is that powerful, you can make yourself sick. You can also heal it because the power is tremendous. All I do in my work is help the person find out, why did I do this to myself? Why did I make myself sick? They say, I don't want to be sick. I don't believe you. But it always is for a reason. The doctors don't have the time to sit down and find out what's going on in the person's life. What is their home life like? What is their marriage situation like? What are they going through? These are the reasons that people make themselves ill. The doctors don't have time to go into that. I spend hours with the client getting to know the person before I ever do any sessions. Then we have a good idea of where the problem is coming from. Because once you understand why did I do this to myself, what's going on in my life, it goes away instantly. That's the power we have within us and we don't realize it. I like to go and touch the flowers sometimes and say, oh, you're beautiful, I really appreciate you. <laughs> and you can even go and hug a tree and feel the energy from it because it is alive. And it's all part of the Creator. And as we're part of the Creators, we are also Creators ourselves. Once you realize this, you can create anything you want in your life because there's no difference. You remember Jesus even said in the Bible, these things I do, you can all do, and more. There is nothing special. We all have these abilities. We just 
don't realize it and we put them in the background. It's there for anyone. Just open up to it and believe. Believe you can do this. If you believe you can't, you can't. If you believe you can, you will. It's all in the belief system. Believe it and trust it and you can see your life turn around. Everything in your life you have put there, you have created. And if you're that powerful, if you don't like what's in your life, you can uncreate it and change your life. Once you believe and you know it's there, you connect with God, you connect with the source, you connect with your guides, your guardian angels, they're, they want to help you. They really love you and they want to be with you and help you. You just have to learn to identify with it and recognize they're there and miracles will happen. Your entire life can turn around. Sounds easy. Maybe it is or maybe it isn't. It depends on how difficult you make it. But it's all there and it's free for everyone.